Check, check, check. Okay. What's going on, everybody? My name is Zavell, a.k.a. The Iceman, a.k.a. your girlfriend's favorite singer. Okay. And this is my brother right here. His name is Amir, so we're going to do a little piece for you guys. Because I have caused a lot of criticism that has been my worst enemy. And the silence of my eyelids, I may pardon me because awakening from the deep, heavy sleep will truly me reality. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for the holding back while our commitment snaps and we pretend as if there was just another start to another story. Sorry, I haven't finished my book yet. But I promise you that when I do, I will write you cover to cover to make sure that my pen tip remembers you. And I will make sure that my mind will describe your perfect perfections. I'm not gonna lie, you're just not that fucking perfect. But I swear to God, you're so damn close and I pretend to deny this. You see, I'm also imperfect. I argue, I scream, I cry, I dream I'm perfect. But I'm far from it because I have to create this imaginary line to describe you as mine. But was it worth it? I had a dream. I had a dream where our sun is disconnected and our most perfect imperfections disconnected. And I will bring you back to my reality. I had a dream. Was any of it worth it? Is my love and kind? Ooh, ooh, baby, I don't know. Oh, 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 but why do we fucking fight the love? Said when I could feel it in my soul. Thank you, guys. Shout out to Amir once again. Are right, we good? Love, leave me lonely. I cannot love, so I'm gonna leave. I wanted to fuck, but you wanna be, be the one that I cannot delete. I wanna delete all these memories. I just want the pleasure off of my need. Drop to your knees if you want me. If you have the bag, you could feel free. Mattress. New sheets, new girl, new lover, new mattress, new sheets, new girl, new lover, new mattress, new sheets, new girl, new lover, new mattress, new sheets, new girl, new lover. Believe in fun, in love, but I choose to mislead because I want to experience you. I hate falling deep in what the world wants me to feel, but I'd rather lose sleep for the truth than live a lie cause I know it feels right losing control but I wash it love only you be how I live my life mattress new sheets new girl new leather new mattress new sheets new Just 
mistress, blue sheets, blue gown, blue leather. Cause I know it feels right to lose control. But why should love it only you be how I live my life? Mattress, blue sheets, blue gown. Control my urges. I can never get control over it. Cause your body's so damn special. I can never get control over it. Yes, I can never control my urges. I can never get control over it. Cause your body's so damn special. I can never get control over it. Yes, I can never control my urges. I can never get control over it. Cause your body's so damn. What the fuck are we doing? If I'm not the one you're choosing, who do you think you're fooling? Fooling, fooling, because I'm with the movement. Don't have time for no confusion. I can never be losing. If you win, I win because I can never get control over it, yes. I can never control my urges. I can never get control over it. Cause your body's so damn special. I can never get control over it, yes. I can never control my urges. I can never get control over it. Cause your body's so damn special. I can never get control over it. I can never control my urges. I can never get control over it. Cause your body's so damn special. I can never get control over it. Yes, I can never control my urges. I can never get control over it. Cause your body's so damn special. Thank you guys. That's my time. Shout out to everybody. And I'll see you guys some other time. Let's do it. How's everybody feeling tonight? Can I, go, can, I, can I get a quick year real quick from the BX? I'm sorry, I have an accent, guys. I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican. Whoop, yeah. La mec la mamala, la mec la mamala. So my name is Amir So. That was my brother, amazing, amazing artist. Honestly, I learned a lot of my stuff from him. Um, like I said, I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican. And um, I got a quick piece for y'all. I always told the Maoris from Bronx Native that I would do this piece anytime that he's in the building. Because it's just, it's just right to do this. So this, this piece is called Salsa. And it's for Puerto Rico because we're going through some shit right now, guys. We are. Pronto llegará el día de mi suerte. Sé que antes de mi muerte seguro que mi suerte cambiará. Pronto llegará El día de mi suerte, sé que antes de mi muerte, 
seguro que mi suerte cambiará. Listen. Listen. Listen to the Puerto Rican struggles and heritage as it flows through your bloodstreams. The congas playing in the background and instantly becomes part of your heartbeat, Los Claves. Gently slam it together, creating the perfect rhythm and peace. The story being told of our culture and how our heads will never bow down because we got the spirit and the blood of El Coqui. Listen. Listen to the laughter, even though there was a natural disaster. They say that dancing salsa y dándole gracias a Dios is a cure to this disease. Pronto llegará. El día de mi suerte, sé que antes de mi muerte, seguro que mi suerte cambiará. And so we continue to count each and every one of our blessings, walking forward, never looking behind us, because behind us is our enemies, con su maldita servilleta. But of them I don't worry because as our tragedies go on, we look at our tragedies and we thank the good old Lord because he has given us another chance to breathe. And then we rebuild. We rebuild. We rebuild. Holding each other's hands together, we treated those wounded like our family. They were my family. For we share the same blood, drink the same agua de coco that quenches our thirst, rehabilitating every inch of our needs. Soon our day of hope will come. And we will continue to have faith that it will. Although our faith has been tested, our isla, our land, our faith has been tested by the lack of our president's free will. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. Yeah. One more? Y'all do one more. Y'all yeah. want one more? Yeah. Got you, got you. I love it, I love it. So I said before, I have a crazy accent. I didn't speak English until I was like seven or eight years old, and I was teased about it. And um, this is called accent. I'm going to just get right into it. They used to tell me that my accent was both a blessing and a curse. And that the color of my skin was going to put me in that hearse before my 21st as the processions of my ancestors followed. My parents were first. But they failed to tell me that the everyday struggle consisted of empty stomachs and sleepless nights, a packed bag in the corner with clothes and miscellaneous items right in sight, just in case a familiar sound of banging on the door was going to wake you up at night, forcing you out. You got five minutes. The sound of scrambling was like the sound of sirens, but it was all silent when I would go to the school the next day and they would say, yo, Rob, why you wear the same shirt twice? The look that I saw on my mother's face will never be erased. Her raised arms praying to God that everything will be okay. Let to my raised arms praying to God that everything will be okay. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to be successful. Now when I say successful, I'm not talking about that soon in time. My memory is that I forgot where I came from. I raised my arms to the sky and I prayed that everything will be okay. That the footsteps that I have walked in pain, the self-inflicted wounds I hide in shame. I never hurt myself physically, but mentally the scars dig deep. Can you believe I'm still sane? I've seen those dried up waterways, towers of pain. I reach for the top and they warn me to stay away. Because a lack of oxygen can take me away. Suffocate as dreams collapse into my chest. They say stay away, but I want to be successful. Now when I say successful, I'm not talking about that suit in time. My love for you has died. Crisis of mixed emotions, questions in my own head. Am I still immune? Dear Heavenly Father, why do we hide? I can't even hide these invisible wounds. But I beg of you, please, don't feel bad for me. My words are just spoken. And I wear them on my skin, although it's still broken. And I'm still human. I'm just waiting for that special token to put a smile back on my mama's face. I made it to 22. And I proved them all wrong as I walked across that stage with my accents and my skin color and my ancestors following me too. And I proved them all wrong as I received my college tattoo. Thank y'all.